Here we go. Business partner export. Look at this. This is pretty cool. So I'll show you. See, it tells you if you highlight, and this is really good for you techie people, right? <laughs> people in support. This is the name of the field. You have the type of the field. You have whether it's a primary or not. Uh, business partner is a is a uh, a key field in the table. You have the session number and everything. Uh, when you go to an enumerated field, you see there's actually a it creates a tab that has all the enumerated values. So in the table, it's one, two, three, four. Here you see no roles, customer, supplier, and supplier and customer. So going back here, uh, let me give an example of an enumerated field. When I go here, you see uh, I highlight it here and it has a drop down list. Pretty cool, right? <clears throat> and so this is this is something else. If you had if you have data, let's say you your business partner, you want to change it, uh, you want to change the city, or you wanted to change the address, or something like that, um, in a bulk way. So you had several where you wanted to change something. Uh, what you can do is you can actually change. You wouldn't want to change the role because the role is already assigned. Um, but you might want to say to be verified. You want to change them to. Let's say, let's change this to no. Right, you can actually change that. Um, and if I was in Mingle, what I can do is I can turn this around into an import sheet. So I would save this. And if you see off to the, let me see if I can see it. I'm not unhide the fields here. Where's my import stuff? Oh, come on. Just give me a second here. Okay, so, ah, here we go. Okay, so cool. So what would happen is when I do, when I use this as an import spreadsheet, what would happen is it would actually, there's an option to actually replace if I change the data here, I can actually replace it in LN in a bulk way, which is very convenient. It's also a little dangerous, right? Um, but uh, it, what it'll do is it'll run the DAO check so that you can't put any uh, numbers or codes that don't exist. So it would actually, what it would do is it would give you a message here. It would say import status, and we have a red, and it would say not loaded, and then it actually would have an import message here. So it would say, mm, you know, that uh, business partner type doesn't exist or something like that. And then you can actually fix it in the spreadsheet itself and then upload it again. Uh, and there's, there's the, it also pays attention to your level of access, which is very important. So let's say, for example, Joanne, she probably has access to everything, right? <laughs> of course so I do. <laughs> you, of course you do. Of course you do. So this would be no problem for you. Uh, if you have access to insert or delete or whatever in the business partner session, then it would let you do it. Um, but if, let's say, your, somebody who works for you or your manager uh, has only read access, then this, you, you would not be able to use this. Okay, so mm -hmm. very good. Very nice that it pays attention to the uh, access levels. And it also lets you to, if you want to, you can insert new records. So what I could do here is I could put new records here in Excel and then hit the button and it, it has an option to replace the ones that are there or insert new ones. So very, very convenient. You'll love this. You'll love it. 